Previously on Control. All I have is audio. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to test the stream. Give me a sec. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? I like this. Streaming is streaming. Oh, hi! You're mine now. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> okay, go and blow up your friends. Yeah, uh, change of plans. Go and blow up your friend instead. That was the past. This is the present. I just, I love this combat system so much. Okay. Um, okay, this is progress. Let me just quickly check out the rest of this room before I move on. Ah, uh, yes. What I would have missed. Documents. That is not what I meant to do. Uh, is there anything in here? No. Guess not. Keep moving. Oh, those are just posters. Okay, phone on the wall. Everything in this game is just either oversaturated or undersaturated. It's great. Hey, have a seat. Oh, damn it, I missed. <laughs> Box. Why, uh, why is my TK not hitting your shield? There we go. That was, that was weird. Oh, I saw the Kinesis powers when hitting his shield, but that's that's fine. I'll read that in a bit when I'm off camera because reading isn't something you're here to watch. Oh, this is something you can, you're here to listen to though. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. First call. Oh, what I'm about to tell you, if you found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident, but this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they say, but that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the with Gala and maybe 2 a.m., but they're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just... My brother left there. They said the town was destroyed, but... It wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Rogan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. That's also not spooky and ominous in any single way. Right. Then, judging from... Oh, oh, ooh, another piece of... Another video to watch. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection. A projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. 
that is the exact same monologue from the world trailer that was released last year for this exact game. Also, now I know the reason of the hissing noise I kept hearing. It's... it is the hiss. Oops. You had that. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, uh, that's great. Can I, can I pick this up? Thank you. So they, were, they appear to have been protecting what looks like a control point. Let me gather all this crap first and then uh, oops, cleanse this. All right. This should be fun. Although that's not going to affect the world in any way. And we are going Annual to... Annual evaluation of Dune Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's Psychological Assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Robert. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need it. Oh my. <sighs> he was unstable already before, even before we found him. Not good. Not good at all. Especially since he is now in our base. And uh, he may or may not pose a significant threat to everything and everyone that's there. The woods, the dump. Okay, so this is Jessie's old hometown, right? So this is what, her home? Uh, or is it like something else? Oops. <laughs> I keep knocking down the trees and everything. I'm so sorry to the person who set this up painstakingly. I'm so sorry. Okay, so the dump. This is where she found that slide projector. And I'm guessing these red rings represent, you know, like a moving sort of scale. Like, so it happened. Like, the event happened. She found, she and her brother found the slide projector. And I guess these rings represent the how far, whatever it was, spread after she found the slide projector. I think that's 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 how I'm interpreting it without any evidence of the, of the contrary. Oh. Give me treat. Oh. Hey, here, have this. Have that. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. That's not good. I'm blowing up, <laughs> I'm blowing up Jesse's old town. Jesse's old home, rather. Have that. Here, have a car. Eat it. Jerk. I would like you to have that. Here. Can you? I would very much like for you to just die already, please. Here, have that. I guess catching his grenade seems like a better option than just shooting him. Huh? <laughs> we found a slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? 
Is that where they keep it? I mean, judging from the way that the Bureau has kept all of their objects of power since, I'm assuming they did. Or at least that is what they did. We will have you to see. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't... No matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's this... I feel an emptiness. A yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No! No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Huh. So it was that weird squiggly blue eye, Polaris, that brought her to New York and showed her the, the oldest house. So it's like it's, 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 it's like it's almost it's, it's predestined or something. And ordinary dump site. Okay, so they... The, they recreated the dump from her hometown and that's where they store the slide projector question mark oh snap so they did they moved the whole landfill here in the middle of new york and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable nope, that is not what i wanted to do i was grabbing something in the in the next room oh wait this is where ah I think this is where that boss is. So uh, let's wander around here and see what is up. That is not what I meant to do. Hey, uh, have this. Have your friend. Okay, so there's a uh, one of those Healy bastards around here somewhere. I don't. I really don't appreciate your company. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, you're really irritating for a healer, right? There he goes. There's something in this car. Oh, an album cover. Oh, okay. It's not what I thought it would be, but fine. Is that, a, is that a big guy? Oh no, that's the, uh, the telekinetic shield guy. And now he's dead. Hey, catch! Oops. Okay. Okay, getting away because that area is... Oh, hi. Okay. Mm, not looking good. 
Oh, I mean, I didn't mean to put up the shield, but that's fine. I pressed the button on my mouse, and that's what happened. Have that! Oh, that didn't work. Damn it. <laughs> oh, ouch. Ow. That guy is getting very annoying. Ay, damn it. Okay, so I'm back here again. Let me see. Actually, let me see if I can build anything or make anything. Yeah, I got caught into suicide, guys, Ricky. Not fun, but uh, I have learned from my mistakes, hopefully. Oh my god, I have to fight you guys again? Really? Here, have that. That is, that is not good. There's three of these big guys around here. Whoa! Okay, okay. Gotta open up some room here. Up a tree. Here, have that. Have a tree. I don't know, I think it's made of like cardboard or something. Have the body of your friend. Oh, come on. Uh. Ouch. That hurt. Also, hi Ryuji, really good to see you again. I really wish this guy would die. Can you just die, please? Thank you. Launch efficiency. You know, I mean, it's getting me mods, which is nice. <sighs> I gotta go back there and fight another bunch of idiots again. <sighs> Listen to that already. I just wish there was another checkpoint. But I mean, this game is oh, difficult for a reason. Also, Ryuki, if uh, you, have, you haven't caught up yet, but uh, uh, I got a shield now. Yeah, pretty unbelievable, yeah. Have that. You know, I'm just gonna stand up here for a while. I don't think they can get me up here. Then again, they can float. Uh, where'd it go? Oh. Uh oh. It's just. It's gonna quickly open up some ground between me and my would be pursuers. Yay! Okay, hold on. There we go. Now, just gotta get rid of this big guy. I'm gonna throw a sofa at him. Uh. And if that's not enough, I'll do it again. Oh, crap. Yeah, you missed a lot of the middle part, don't worry. I also did some things off camera in between ouch streaming this morning and right now. You have that. Die, thank you. So uh, I've got a couple more things and a lot more upgrades that uh, I didn't have in the previous, in the, the stream yesterday. Thanks. Can you sit down and maybe, maybe die? I kill ouch, two of them at once. Good, 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 good. I can get rid I can get rid of the suiciders first and uh maybe ouch. And maybe gain some health while I'm at it. Although unfortunately the suicide guys don't seem to give me a lot of health. Yeah, that, that this guy's gonna give me a lot of health though. Here have the <laughs> I'm just gonna hit you with the body of your friend. Never mind. It's totally fine. That's just how we. That's just how we roll. Ouch! Ugh! I hate these sniper guys. Yeah, it does make work less stressful. So, uh, I'm glad you're tuning in. Damn it! I missed. <laughs> uh. Where are you? And you're dead. Yeah! We should check that lab. Yes, we should. And by we, I mean Jesse and Polaris and me. Let's grab all of these. I think I'm full on uh, weapon mods, though. Let's quickly open this. The slide projector isn't here, although...
effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department, dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there, that's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Well, I think the slide projector scared Dr. I was gonna say Dr. Kvaster because I'm stuck in Rage 2 mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Dr. Darling, it scared him so much that he has decided to move the slide projector over to research, which is not great. But uh, hey, evade energy costs minus 24%, so doing this now means I consume less energy, which is always a plus. Okay, so I'm assuming this console will open the doors here and allow me to go back to the central area? And then I can go onwards to... Ah, oh, yes, the ashtray maze, of course. Okay, hold on a second. I'm just gonna quickly fly. Wee! Woo! Wee! And I'm safe from the astral cat. So it's just... Okay, so there is a control point here. So I can just go immediately go back to uh, research, thankfully. Look at all these abilities that I have. Yeah, I got Seize, the shield, along with flying. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly max upgrade my launch. And that's about all I can do. So we need to head to the ashtray maze, which is... Well, you'll see. You will see.